speakers. Today we'll take vocabulary. Okay, and new unit, unit eight. Open with me page uh, 112, please, in your book. 112. Ready? Miss in the vocab book? Yes, in vocabulary book. Shall we start? One, one, two. A new statement talks about risk and reward on the stock market. Interview with an expert. Bye. Are you ready, girls? Yes, yes. 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 By John X. Pike, published April 19th, 2012. Although the stock market affects all Americans, both those who invest in the market and those who don't, many people have little or no understanding of how it works. This reporter sat down with Anita Stockton, a retired stockbroker, to find out more about this important financial institution. What does the stock market do? The stock market plays a crucial role in the global economy, enabling companies to raise money by selling shares of ownership to investors. The cash generated by sales of stock helps many companies grow, which increases competition and growth in the economy and provides consumers with more goods and services at cheaper prices. So here, girls, there is a conversation, uh, an interview with an expert about uh, stockholders uh, you, you know uh, that you watch in uh, and the news or television the stock market when it's um, the number of the stock the share the number of shares in or the price of the share increases decreases and, and this stock it's called stock market okay some people get rich from the stock market how do they make money owners of shares or shareholders seek to profit from investments in stocks, but there are no guarantees. Okay. She says that people, and he asked her, how the people get money, they get rich out of the stock market, how? She said this who shareholders, the owners of shares. Shares is, this is when you buy a cake, you, your mom says to you, this is your share. So this is your part, this is yours. So those who buy shares in companies, for example, Energizer company, Energizer for batteries, you go and you buy share. You do not buy the whole company, you buy a share, a share. So when the, the company gains money, you gain money too. But what if the company loses money? You lose, you lose money too, okay? She says that those who share uh, owners of shares, or they, we can call them shareholders, seek to profit from investment in stocks, but there is no guarantee. So when you grow up, you'll hear about someone who became rich out of the stock market, and you will hear about someone who lost all his money in a stock market. Occasionally, some companies distribute dividends, a sum of money to shareholders for each share they own. Shareholders also sell their shares to other investors through a stock exchange, and they may revel in their profits when they sell for more than the original cost. Uh, so some of them, some of the shareholders sell their shares to others. They share, they sell it to other investors. So sometimes other investors would like to buy shares, so they go and buy it from the shareholders through a stock exchange, and they exchange, and they may revel in their profit, revel in their profit when they sell for more than the original cost, revel in their profit, profit, profit when they gain money, the, the, what they earn, revel, part of speech is what, if I think revel, revel in something, so revel here is what part of speech, Verb. Verb. So they, so they will do something in their profit. So they will do something in their profit. What they, what they are going to do in their profit, girls? Celebrate. Uh, what? What will they do in their profit? They may revel in their profit when they sell for uh, more than the original cost. 
take great pleasure, celebrate, take great pleasure, revel. Say after me, girls, revel. Revel. Stock trading has become increasingly complex, with thousands of companies publicly traded and multifarious strategies available to traders. With thousands of companies publicly traded and multifarious, multifarious strategies. Uh, multifarious strategies. Uh, here is the word, look, multifarious. If I look at the word, OS is what is, what is the part of speech that ends with OS? Adjective. 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 Multi. <coughs> Multi. Multinational. More, more than one. Multi, huh? More than one. So I have, it's an adjective, and it's, it's divided into multi, more than one. Uh, so multifarious, more, various, yes, excellent, dear. various, more than different, more than one, having many different parts, more than one part, having more than one part, multifarious, multifarious, so more than one part, having many different policy strategies available to traders. But buy low, sell high is a rule that will buy low, sell high is a rule to gain money in, for the shareholders. Will never become obsolete. And that we, buy, buy low, sell high is a rule that will never be obsolete. A rule that will never be obsolete. Ah, always follow this rule. It will never be obsolete, huh? Obsolete is is what it's an after become. It's after linking verb, so it's either a noun or an adjective. It's here a what? Adjective. Adjective. So it will never be obsolete. Take this. It will never be obsolete. Obsolete means what? Never used again. Never used again. It will never be obsolete will never be old fashioned will never be left will never be unused okay obsolete 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 is when is what old fashioned so sell high buy low buy low sell high is a low and for in the stock market that will never be obsolete Investors will always commend. Uh, and that investors will always commend. Commend. They will always commend. Part of speech is what? Verb. Verb. Always commend. Always. Uh, so this is a law that will never be obsolete. It will never be old. And the investors will always commend. Huh? From the word, what have you heard the comment before? Have you he heard comment before? Here like is a, rest? Like, uh, what is the word that you always hear near to comment? Recommend. Recommend. So, comment uh, a law that will never be obsolete, and people comment. Present it, mention it. So, multifarious, more than one part. Comment, mention, or present. Obsolete is old fashioned, no longer used. Sounds like easy money. Is there risk involved? Unfortunately, there is no sure way to predict fluctuations in stock prices. There can be reprisals for careless investing. Uh, he says to her, so, ah, uh, people gain lots of money. It's easy money. She says, no, unfortunately. Unfortunately, no. There is no sure way to predict fluctuations in stock prices. There can be reprisals for careless investing. 
uh, reprisals. Reprisals, here is it, reprisal for, reprisal for careless investing. What is reprisal for careless investing? Reprisal for careless investing. There would be a reprisal. The part of speech of a reprisal is what it ends in A-L. Adjective. Reprisal for a reprisal. Ah, uh, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Reprisal for careless investment. So, Sarah, how can I say this reprisal mean? Careless as what? Uh, careless as well. So it's. Uh, he says to you, reprisal for careless investment. Reprisal is a relationship. A relationship, but with what? Uh, against an enemy. Reprisal against an enemy. For careless investing. So there will be a relationship against the careless investing. Reprisal. The market can be an omnivorous beast that will. The market can be an omnivorous beast. We took omnivorous. We took the omnivorous. Um, uh, the omnivorous uh, is omnivore apostrophe s that we took in the literature. Here it's the adjective that ends in o u s omnivorous. But the other one in the literature was only the omnivore. Omnivore and apostrophe S, so it's called um, omnivores. Omnivore S. But here it's omnivorous. Omnivorous. It's an adjective. What is an, an omnivorous, girls? We took it. A creature that eats both the plants and animals. Excellent. It eats pla both plants and animals. Pick clean the portfolios of the savviest investors. Even the wise lose more money than they gain. So putting one's money in the stock market is not for the ingenuous. Even the smart one might lose all his money in the stock market. Uh, so even the wise lose more money than they gain, even though. So putting one's money in the stock market is not for the ingenuous is not for the ingenuous. Ingenuous. Uh, ingenuous in always, at the end always. So when at the end always, Lilian, it's an adjective or a noun. At the end always. Lilian? When it ends with always, it's the part of speech is what? A noun or adjective? Adjective, and then I have in. So it is the opposite, and genuine or genuinity is the originality of something. So it will be in, gin, was it's free from reserve. Okay, or artless without an art. Ingenuous. So the stock market is not for the ingenuous. It's not for those who are free from reserve. Stock analysts measure the value of a company in terms of its assets, debts, and earnings. But such analysts cannot project future earnings with certainty. Nevertheless, when analysts determine that a company is likely to grow faster than its competitors, investors rush to purchase shares. Consequently, demand for the company's stock increases along with expectations for future performance, and the price of the shares rises. When the company's earnings are compatible with expectations, the share price... When the company's earning, earning, when any, the money they earn, are compatible with the expectations. When the money I gain, when the money I gain is compatible with expectations. I have money, expectations, compatible. Ends with able, 
ends with able, it means ability to. It's compatible with when I have two things and they are compatible. So it means what? Compatible. Equivalent. They match. Match together. Match. Yes, together. So when the earning matches, when the earnings match the expectation, I gain. Aha, uh -huh. so compatible is a, a, a capable of living in harmony, able to live together or be in harmony We match. Price may continue to rise. Investors keep their shares in anticipation of further gains or sell for a profit at the new price. Sometimes a company's profits may fall short of expectations, and such results, once reported, can have a stultifying effect on the demand for the firm's stock. Sometimes uh, uh, the company's profit may fall short of expectations, and such results, once reported, when I find these results in a company, can have a stultifying Stultifying effect on the demand. Stultifying can have a stultifying effect on the demand. A stultifying, so the part of speech is what? A stultifying effect can have, yes. Stultifying effect is an adjective. So, a stultifying effect, how I modify the effect on the demand? How would I modify stultifying girls? How would I modify the effect? It will be what? Stultifying will be what? Girls, stultifying. Uh, useless. Hmm? Useless. Left. Left. Useless. Like useless. Effect on the demand for the firm's stock uh, or causing to appear, stultifying effect. I cause it to appear. The effect is to have any effect and I make it so shown. Stultifying to make so shown. Okay. Are you asleep, Grace, today? You don't participate with me a lot. No. So wake up. The words are easy today. Apprehensive investors watch the value of their investment shrink as the share price drops. Apprehensive investors watch the value of their investment shrink. Oh, they lose it. They are using, losing. Apprehensive investors. Apprehensive is an adjective to invest. Apprehensive is this word, apprehensive. Investors, so I am defining investors. I'm giving an adjective to investors. So I will say what about those investors who um, watch the value of their investment shrink. Apprehensive, apprehensive, fearful. Apprehensive investors. So I'm modifying those investors who watch the money drop. Investor, apprehensive, fearful, or unsafe, okay, or uneasy. Investors. What a roller coaster ride. Do many people lose money? The uncertainties of the stock market put many would be investors in a quandary. He says, ah, oh, it's like a roller coaster, and it is. A roller coaster ride. People, uh, many people lose money. She says the uncertainties of the stock market. This is the problem. We are not uncertain about the stock market. The uncertainty of the stock market put many would be investors in a country. What is a country? Uncertainty of the stock market will make the investors in a country. The uncertainty. Huh? In trouble, 
Vegas. Yes, in trouble. Bedazzled. Confused. So in a country, country here is a noun. Country means a state of perplexity. Um, perplexity is when confused, when I'm confused, perplex. So uncertainty will make people in a state of uncertainty. So country means uncertainty too. Perplexity. Perplexity or uncertainty. Why? Because the uncertainties of the stock market put many investors in an uncertainty too. Because she makes them uncertain. So country means what, girls? Uncertainty. Some investors regard the stock market with animosity. Some investors regard the stock market with animosity. Like this. With an, with animosity. With, after, a, with, it will be what? A noun, right? So they regard it with animosity. So they regard it with what girls? Animosity. Oh. I regard something with animosity. I am now uncertain about the stock market. So I regard the stock market with animosity. So I regard it. How do I regard it? With what? Uh -huh. Noun. Animosity? Dislike. Yeah. Great. Uh -huh. Dislike. Excellent. Great dislike. I watch it with great dislike. Animosity? When I watch some, something with great dislike. And buy low risk investments with parsimonious payoffs. And why? Because they watch it with animosity, great dislike. And buy low risk investment, they buy the, the investment that, that low risk with parsimonious, parsimonious, parsimonious since ends with OUS, so it's an adjective, parsimonious payoffs. Uh, so, what is parsimonious? I am modifying with parsimonious payoffs. Small. So, parsimonious is an adjective, what dear? Uh, it means small. 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 Parasimonious, yes, it can be small and stingy. You know, stingy when you do not pay a lot. Stingy. is a stingy person. So parasimonious is a stingy person. When I, I say parasimonious is to show parasimony. Parasimony is a stingy one. He cannot pay. So which is small payoffs. I do not pay a lot. Parasimonious is when I do not pay a lot. Parasimonious pay off. Ah, yani I don't want to pay. I give him a parasimonious pay off. Means I don't give. Parasimonious is showing. Parasimony means stingy. He doesn't want to spend money. Lujain, are you here? Zena? Yes, Ms. Maya, Lena, Ms. Yes, Ms. Lena, you with me, guys. Like government bonds. Conversely, many a daring investor in the stock market has derided himself for his insatiable appetite for risk. Conversely, many a daring investor, many a daring investor in the stock market has derided himself derided himself you have to tell me derided himself he derided the part of speech here lana is what derided himself the part of speech is what noun adjective verb verb, verb. verb. so he did something to himself derided himself to do what to himself Think girls deride himself, Jenna. He many. 
as daring investor in the stock market has derided himself for his in, in uh, I can't read it, Chris. Instable appetite for risk. Once he fall, the stench of loses. Oh. He derided himself. What? What can I say? Yes, please. Maybe he mocked himself. For what? his uh, insatiable appetite for risk. Once he fell, the stench of loses. Losses. Okay. Once he felt the sting of losses, the volatility of the market scares many investors away and punishes the imprudent. With so much uncertainty, who invests in the stock market? For many investors, the possible gains of the stock market prove too great to ignore. Disciplined investors balance potential losses against potential rewards. They diversify their investments, maintaining reasonable expectations and a moderate appetite for risk. They research the companies whose stocks they buy. In short, apathy is not recommended for potential investors. Uh, okay, in short, briefly, apathy is not recommended for potential investors. Apathy is not recommended for potential investors, but if you have no interest in studying the market yourself, uh, and continue. Apathy is not recommended. But if you have desire, go. So apathy is what? Interest. Apathy is not recommended. Huh? Interest, maybe? Yes. Apathy is ab absence of interest. A absence of interest when you are un not interested. Apathy is not recommended. The absence of interest, the absence of passion, the absence of like when you dislike it. No, don't go for it. It stopped or what happened? Stopped? Yes, I guess. I need a st possible game on the stock market of the market scares many investors away and punishes the imprudent. With so much uncertainty, who invests in the stock market? For many investors, the possible gains of the stock market prove too great to ignore. Disciplined investors balance potential losses against potential rewards. They diversify their investments, maintaining reasonable expectations and a moderate appetite for risk. They research the companies whose stocks they buy. In short, Apathy is not recommended for potential investors. But if you have no interest in studying the market yourself, mutual funds and money managers can fill this role, affording you the opportunity to benefit from the power of the stock market and from professional expertise. Overall, cautious, prudent, and well-informed investment in the stock market has proven to be one of the best ways for investors to increase their wealth. Okay, girls. So let's... Hear the words again, please. Let's say them from the beginning. Girls, please. The first word is what? Revel. Say with me, girls. Number one. Revel. Revel. Revel is a verb to take great pleasure. Multifarious. Multifarious. Say it, please. Multifarious. Having many different words. Obsolete. 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 He has uh, old fashion. Comment. Comment. Mention. Comment. 
Be with me, girls. Comment. Be with me. Reprisal. Reprisal. Relationship against an enemy. Omnivorous. Say with me, girls. Omnivorous. Omnivorous. Yes. Then we have what? The next word. Ingenious. Ingenious. Yes, ingenious means what? Hmm. Means what, girls? Simple, innocent. Hmm. Yes. Ingenious, free from reserve. Then compatible. Compatible. Matching or live in harmony, live together. Stultifying, stultifying. Stultifying. Fearful, quick to learn. Condary. Uncertainty. Animosity, great dislike. Parsimonious, stingy. Derided, make fun of. Apathy. Absence of passion. Absence of passion. Are you with me, girls? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes. Who can, who can put animosity in a sentence for me? Animosity, great dislike. No one? There, uh, can I say this? Yes, sir. There was a great animosity between the rivals in the battle. Great. Who can put apathy in a sentence? Apathy is absence of concern, absence of passion, absence of like. Can I say this? Yes, please note. Um, there's nothing worse than apathy. Yeah, yes, nothing worse than worse than apathy. Excellent. Okay, who can use uh, omnivorous in a sentence? Omnivorous is very easy, Fatima. Rima. Can I yes, please. Yeah, so omnivores are able to eat uh, animal or vegetable food. Yes. Okay, go for five minutes break and we meet again, guys. Bye. 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 See.